Not Have you ever heard of exploding watermelons? Like with rubber bands? No. I'm talking about spontaneous watermelon explosions. You have a watermelon. I'm not talking about the trick where you keep putting rubber bands yeah. around the watermelon and you got hundreds of rubber bands and the thing just goes, <laughs> no. Watermelons are exploding. Uh, Emily Durbin here in Florida posted a picture and video online. And there's a Facebook group called Mommy Needs a Recipe. Have you heard of this? Oh, pff. Every day I'm on it. Durbin shared a photo of a sizable watermelon perched on her kitchen counter with white foam easing out of it. She says, we bought this watermelon yesterday at Walmart. My husband left for work around 6 a.m. And when I walked in the kitchen around 9 a.m., this is what I walked into. The white stuff was a foamy, bubbly substance. The yellow juice was chunky and thick. Ew. The odor was absolutely foul. It reminded me of... Um, she uh, wrote in the post, this is on a Facebook post, and when she picked it up to throw it in the trash, there was a rumbling inside. What the? Come on. Exploding watermelons? Ugh. So it's oozing. It's like it's like warning. It's like. So it's. And then she picks the thing up to toss it in the trash. There's a rumbling inside. She was perplexed because the watermelon had not been around any heat sources whatsoever. My melon was on the counter, and then the thing, it, it explodes. She, the, the melon, then there's another person that commented, this happened to me once. It wasn't leaking, but when I cut into it, it literally exploded. The biggest bang I've ever heard, and it scared the crap out of me. I mean, just it builds up the gases inside I, or listen, something? Listen, I... It has to be. It has to be like a what? Like a, a whale? Like a fermentation process or something? Like it's almost like it's fermented and it's building up like what? A CO two, like carbon dioxide, or? Uh, but I've ne I have purchased countless watermelon. I love watermelon, and I buy watermelon a lot. I have never had a watermelon explode. I mean, I've had watermelons that tasted bad or just not sweet. I've had watermelons that have been exemplary. But I've never had a watermelon that's... You know, we ought to go to phones on this. Folks, have you ever had a watermelon explode? Like, blow up in your kitchen? Sounds pretty no, rare. Yeah. All right, 800-990-1047. That's the number. This is apparently a thing, but I, I was unaware of this. Until I saw this over the weekend, I had no idea that watermelons can just spontaneously... Look... Fester just found, found a story from the Today Show. Fester found uh, on today.com, people are reporting that their watermelons are exploding. Here's why it happened. This is from the Today Show. Scroll up. All right, here we go. Uh, watermelons can offer a nice explosion of flavor in your mouth, but they shouldn't be spontaneously combusting. But that's exactly what's happening. Oh, it talks about Emily Durbin and, and her situation and her post on uh, Facebook. Let me, let me read to the bottom. I'll read ahead and see if I can't I, figure out why it's happening. Yeah, why well, is it happening? I'll, I'll tell you what. I've well, never had a watermelon explode, but I love watermelon juice. You ever had that, MJ? Of, of course I've had watermelon juice. That's better than watermelon to you, me, actually. You cut up chunks of watermelon, you put it in a container, mm -hmm. you get all kinds of juice that settles yeah. on the bottom, and yeah, I'll pour that in a cup, absolutely. Yeah. Or you can take watermelon, put it in a juicer, and make uh, a large quantity. Delicious. So according to some University of Florida... Kurt Schneider, PhD professor in the Food Science and Human Nutrition Department at the University of Florida... It sounds pretty official. ...tells Today.com that this isn't the first time he's heard of foaming or exploding watermelons. This is probably due to heat. The fruit is slightly damaged, can become uh, fermented. And that's exactly what I said. I don't I don't need to talk to a doctor. I, can, I, I don't have a PhD. I don't have a post-grad degree. Yeah, so but I, I can tell you uh, exactly. The Today Show it's can't. Ferm it's fermentation. What else could it be? MJ, the Today Show can't run a story and say, we spoke to a Tampa disc jockey who has no PhD, and he said it's fermentation. They right. haven't talked to the Exactly doctor. what I said. I said fermentation and CO2, and the, the professor says, as part of the fermentation process, if certain microorganisms are introduced into the watermelon, they convert sugar to alcohol. It's the same process that happens in beer and winemaking. The offshoot of the process is CO2 gas, the thing that puts the bubbles in your beer. So I guess the question I have, have we had any listeners 
that have had explosive watermelons. Has anyone listening had a watermelon ooze and then explode? That's what I'd like to know. 800-990-1047. If you've ever experienced that. 800-990-1047. Have you ever had any food explode on you? (laughs) Uh, you know, I think I've microwaved something, and like you stick a fork in it, and then like you, you know, it it explodes. I, I've had that happen. Like for instance, my my our dogs get kind of finicky, so I'll buy like you know the chunk chicken cans that come in the six pack at Costco. Yeah, I'm sure Sam's has the same thing. You know, it's like uh, six cans of, in that tight like shrink wrap. So I'll buy that. We'll put uh, the, like fresh chicken. Bro- well, that's not fresh, but the canned chicken breast. We'll put we'll mix that in with the dog kibble yeah. sometimes. Or another thing is Publix Ita- Italian style meatballs. Oh, my dogs love those things. So if you go to the frozen food section where the frozen meatballs are, Publix frozen Italian meatballs. Pretty good. And uh, I take like three or four of those things and I'll put them in the microwave, heat them up. Then I'll add some uh, water and I'll I'll take a smasher and I'll smash it into you know chunks. And some, I, I've had a meatball blow up on me. But okay. I mean, it, I mean, it hasn't injured me. Okay. All right. The only thing I ever had explode on me was uh, the can I left of soda in my car. Oh, yeah. You think you got shot? Yeah. Oh, that's right. When what? I was driving my Dodge Aries K car. Yeah. What, mm-hmm. what, 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 what soda was it? Do you I remember? Was, of course I remember. It was root beer. Yeah. Wasn't it? it was Barks root beer. And it was a can, it was a, like a 12 ounce can? Yes. Cause I was, I was still a student at USF. And you left that can in your car. I left it on the sill, the back oh, sill, like in the back window. Cause like, think about how like a car yeah. looks, has that little ledge it'll, behind the It'll passenger. get 160 degrees in a car here in Florida in summertime. So, dude, I'm driving down Fowler yep. Avenue, leaving USF, then out of nowhere, boom! <laughs> It was like a gunshot. And you felt warm liquid on your I did. He thought, he thought he was shot. There's the whole, the inside of the windshield has this material, this dark colored splatter. I thought all it was them. blood. It's all my, my neck. It's on the back of my head. You're talking about Royale with cheese. Yeah, and I'm like, this happened. I've been shot. I've been shot. Yeah. And then I just keep, I'm like, I don't Dude, feel any pain. Aluminum shrapnel from an exploding can, that could have, that could have put an eye out. So all the aluminum. Stayed. Nothing shot out. It just kind of burst open. It didn't explode. Oh, it didn't like send shrapnel. Yeah. Oh, that could have been far worse. And then Froggy, remember you left a bottle of red wine in your car, and that yeah, ex- fat ass wine. Yeah, that's what it was. There was I don't even know if it's around, but there was a wine called Fat Ass Wine, <laughs> and the distributor <laughs> brought by a whole bunch of bottles, gave them to the morning show. This is like 15 years ago, and then Froggy. Is it just leaves the bottle of red wine in his car for like months, yeah. and the damn thing exploded in his car. I had to sell the car because of the smell. I it remember looked, that. It looked like a crime scene in there. Uh, the These fat, days, I would have drank that within an yeah. hour. The fat ass winery still operates out of Texas. Ooh, oh, they do. Nice. Yes. Oh, very nice. It's good wine. It's right, let me go to let me go to the exploding watermelon lines. But oh, I've got an ooh story. Ooh. Ooh. I no no. It's more like ooh. I've uh, coming up in a second, folks. Don't move. You got to hear this. Terry's in Tampa. Terry, have you experienced an exploding watermelon? Yes. Uh, tell us what happened and what kind of damage did this create? Um, so there was a watermelon sitting on the kitchen counter, and I, I remember walking into the room and hearing um, kind of a funny noise, and I was trying to figure out where it was coming from, and then all of a sudden the watermelon just kind of um, got a little bit louder and exploded on the counter. Did the sound? Sa- I want to play a sound for you. Did it sound like this? <laughs> was that the sound the watermelon was making? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> So, Terry, did the watermelon explode all over your kitchen? Um, I mean, I mean, it exploded all over the counter, and I think some was on the floor. I mean, this has been a long time ago. I mean, it, it didn't go far, but it just kind of split open and fell apart, and it was all liquid and smelly. There you go. Exploding watermelons, folks. Uh, on the MJ Morning Show, Terry is a victim. 
All right, Terry, thanks for listening to us. I appreciate it. Sure. Have a great day. All right, coming up between 9 and 9.20. Oh, and I'm going to get to the story in just a second. I'm going to need to get some opinions on this because this is a little rough. All right, hold on. I'll explain in a minute. First, though, between 9 and 9.20 this morning, folks, I'm going to give you the next trip a day song title. So coming up between 9 and 9.20, listen, I'll tell you what song to listen for. And when you hear that song played guaranteed before 6 o'clock today, you'll be the winner if you're the seventh caller at 800-990-1047. You'll win the latest three-day staycation, the trip a day. And this uh, week it's going to be at the Wyndham Grand Orlando Bonnet Creek. So a three-day staycation. So stand by. I'll reveal the song title coming up, and we'll do it all this week. Your chance to win a three-day staycation, folks. Nice deal. It's the MJ trip a day. All right, Andrew says take one more. Let's grab Smith and Hudson. Hey, Smith, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Hi. How you doing, MJ? Doing well. So my, so my cousin, Wee Roy, he got an eye patch to you know, exploding watermelon. He saw a challenge online. Where he I, put dude, are, are you you're trying to sketch comedy me here? You, you're putting me on? No, my cousin, <laughs> my cousin, my cousin saw this on the internet where right. he put rubber bands. On yeah, the oh, we, yeah, we know about. No, this is not. We know about the rubber band trick. Now, hold on a minute. We we talked about that up first uh, up front because Fester, I, when I said exploding watermelons, Fester said, "Oh, you mean putting all the rubber bands on the watermelon? Yeah, that'll cause it to explode." But well, no, no, this is this is a spontaneous combustion. This is well, a watermelon that ferments inside. And just explodes because of the CO2 gas buildup inside. So you're telling me, Smith, you're telling me you have a cousin who uh, did the rubber band trick on watermelons, caused the watermelon to explode, and it put out his eye? Not that, not necessarily. So what happened, he did the watermelon trick. It didn't work. So he took off all the rubber bands. And uh, it was about maybe 10 minutes later, we're in the kitchen, and we're... And... He got a watermelon seed in his eye. <laughs> and to this day, he wears well, he, a patch? It, what's that? And to this day, he wears a patch? Uh, not to this day, but he got a scratch cornea, and he had to go to the optometrist, and he oh, had no. to he looked like he, he looked like Snake from Escape from New York. <laughs> <laughs> I love right. Kurt Russell. This guy's putting me on, but I like it. All right, Smith, thanks for the call. I appreciate it. You know what? Smith might have been telling a true story. <laughs> no, it might have been I, true. I, I don't I, know. I don't know. Yeah, it's yeah, but when, when it's on the line there, and I can't tell. All right, last call on this. Diana in Tampa. Hi, Diana. You're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi, I was calling because we had went to a friend's house that just moved into their new home, and we uh, brought a watermelon. Everybody brought something, and we just brought things. Oh brought no, brought it's watermelon. it's their brand new home, and you bring a watermelon. I mean, not even a month old, and. Um, <laughs> We didn't, we didn't get a chance to open the watermelon, well, you know, to eat the watermelon that day. So the next day, her kids wanted the watermelon. So she went to open it, and it went everywhere, behind the refrigerator to the ceiling. <laughs> oh, my God. Everywhere, in a brand-new home. Oh, my God. So this was a real exploding, yeah, this is a real exploding watermelon. Yeah, and she was like, where the hell did you buy this watermelon? And we were like, I don't. I think it was Publix, Walmart, one of them. I don't remember exactly where. It but. was a fruit stand on the side of the road. The guy's <laughs> name was Ted Kaczynski. <laughs> and we... I'm sorry. Go ahead. So now. Hold on. Say that again. You got cut off. Say it again. I said we had never heard about a water yeah. melon exploding until now. Yeah. How long ago was that? The house, like I said, was brand new. It was about six months ago. Oh, wow. So it's a fresh story. Wow. All right. Hey, Diana, thanks for the call. Okay. Oh, oh, oh hey, before I let you go, were they able to get the stains yeah. out of the wall? And, and I, I mean, is there lasting damage? You know, I didn't ask her that, but she was definitely not happy. And you know, when you first buy a home that was just built, it's got that flat paint. So I don't know. Actually. Oh yeah, it didn't have a sheen like you know. It's a little, little tougher when you have you know stains and stuff with a flat paint. Hey, uh, if they have any damaged carpet, if any of the carpet got a watermelon juice all over, tell them to call Zero Res. Okay. Yes. 
Okay. They well. get their carpets cleaned with uh, zero res. Hey, thanks for the call. All right, M- mention more- MJ's name, you get like 10% off. No, no, you mentioned you get three rooms of carpet <laughs> cleaned for 129 this month. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, zero res. <laughs> three rooms of carpet cleaned for 129 That'd have to be a pretty big freaking and watermelon and that in three <laughs> rooms. <laughs> that, inc- <laughs> that includes watermelon explosions. You know, if you have a big explosion, it might have ruined three sets of carpet. So get zero res in there. 